How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do something very random. I've always wanted to do a video like this uh, just because uh, I enjoy the subject. So today's video is going to be about some Japanese rap music that I like. And I want to share with you guys some of my favorite songs from this band. The band's name is Ketsumeshi and they, they've been around for a little while. I think I first discovered them back in 2004 when I started learning Japanese. There's a couple reasons why I want to do this video. One, I really, really enjoy this music and even though I don't understand 100% of the lyrics, I think the music is so good and so universal that you don't really have to speak Japanese. It's kind of like that um, Gangnam style is just so catchy and that just the flow is really nice. And so I just want to kind of talk to you guys about this, uh, some of these songs, the band in general, and then some of the, my favorite songs. And also so I'm making a review on these headphones and so I kind of wanted to use them in a way so that I can uh, one be able to hear the music and be able to talk at the same time and this is my first time using this and so those are the two things that I wanted to do and that's the reason for this video all right so let's get started there's a lot of music that I enjoy I speak uh, Spanish was my first language English is obviously I live in the US so I speak English and I'm trying to learn Japanese and because of those languages I was able to get exposed to different types of music I love uh, Mexican uh, banda music and corridos and also some cumbias in fact I can't really sit down while listening to cumbias I gotta get up and dance uh, but also because of Spanish I've uh, gotten into Caribbean music so like salsa merengue and all that now with English music obviously living in Los Angeles uh, exposed to urban lifestyle urban music hip-hop rap and all that I really like that and just by being born in Mexico and having to learn English I realized that there's something about the language that has to catch your attention for you to be able to uh, kind of uh, learn it a lot easier and kind of get into it and for me music has been a big part of it I remember listening to uh, gangster rap before I can even understand what they were saying and so Kitsumeshi this band that I'm about to introduce to you guys uh, it's similar to that so because I started learning Japanese uh, then Japanese music like it really caught my attention and because I like hip-hop and rap uh, these guys just kind of came out of nowhere for me uh, I was taking some classes at community college and one of my classmates who was happened to be Japanese kind of showed me one of their uh, CDs that's back when CDs were popular I listened to the CD and there's a couple songs in there that just kind of stood out and I just got hooked and ever since then not only did I buy the albums that came out before I discovered them, but also every single album after that, including some DVDs. There's not a lot of people that I can say, you know, I really like this music or I would pay, you know, $100 for a concert ticket. But these guys definitely take the cake as far as my favorite type of music. Uh, and even though I don't understand a lot of the lyrics, I still really love hearing them and even trying to uh, memorize the lyrics. Now, obviously, uh, Japanese are really strict with copyrights, so I can't play too much of these songs so I'll probably try to limit to under 10 seconds otherwise I'm gonna get hit and I might get like a copyright strike or, or something so hopefully this video comes out as a as an homage to these these guys uh, they've been around forever now and I just wanted to kind of share with the world share with at least the English speaking world uh, because I think they're really missing out and uh, really good music uh, at least in my opinion and so let's get right into it Okay, so like I said, I bought all their CDs and I've uploaded them to my Google Play account and I've made a, a playlist with their top music. And now just a quick background on their type of music. They kind of, to me, they kind of started out as like a, a reggae type of sound with a little bit of rap and they eventually kind of evolved into more of a J-pop sound with a little bit of kind of hip hop and rap. So let's check it out. So this one's uh, first one is Umi, which uh, in English translates to ocean. And so this is how it starts out. Like the beginning of the song is just really nice. There's a lot of elements about it that I really like uh, just from the get-go. So let me skip forward to where they start rapping. So you just kind of hear the speed. Uh, there's four guys uh, on this band. Uh, one's a DJ. You don't really hear him a lot. He's just uh, in the you know turntables and all that. This is how old school they are. Uh, there's a vocalist who kind of raps once in a while. Not as much as the other two, which are uh, MCs, basically rappers. Uh, one has a really high-pitched voice has a nice kind of fast paced uh, rapping style uh, I like him but my favorite is Daiso and he's the other rapper to me he kind of reminds me of Nelly when he raps and sings kind of at the same time and he has a really nice flow really nice delivery so he's by far my favorite uh, but Dio which is the high pitched kind of fast rapper 
Uh, I really like his style because he's funny. Even if I don't understand the lyrics, you can kind of tell that he's he's you know dropping funny lines and just the way he delivers it is really nice and uh, Dio is the vocalist and he just kind of puts everything together just being able to flow from the chorus to the rap uh it's just really nice so let me let me skip forward all right so right here he's gonna start the first verse and it's really fast <laughs> So that was Dio, and like I said, he has a high pitch, really fast delivery, and just the contrast be between him, the vocalist, and then Daizo, which is the other uh, rapper. It just kind of feels nice and full when you hear one of their songs. It's one of their first songs that really caught on. Okay, so now I'm going to skip forward to their first uh, album. Like I said, these guys are kind of fun. They really play with the music, and this next song is called Beer Boy. I can't relate because I don't drink. But I love this song. This is really nice uh, upbeat type of song. So let me let me play that for you guys. <laughs> So I really like how it starts out really nice and slow, but then it kind of picks up. It jumps right into a really nice uh, rhythm. Another thing that I liked about this band from the beginning, they wouldn't use that much English. And for some reason, I don't know why it's so popular in Japan for non-english speaking artist to have english lines on there and for me because i understand english and because i can kind of hear uh, grammatical errors it just kind of throws me off the song and they don't do that too much when they do it it's kind of short and nice and it's not too bad all right so that was their first album and now on their second album they have a song that just destroyed uh, in my opinion it was just it's really good i love the beat i love the tempo uh the delivery on the lines is just nice the chorus is just on point and so i really like that so let me show you that this is probably my favorite song from theirs uh and it came out on album number two so that's kind of tells you uh, how far back the, the my love for these guys kind of goes and so let me play this song for you guys it's called wasure mono which in english translates to forgotten things or things you forget and so let's play that <laughs> so nice with the piano and right after this is gonna hit and then just that beat is gonna uh, it's just gonna it's gonna get you it got me <laughs> So this guy's the vocalist. He's got a really nice kind of smoky sound to his voice. He used to rap a lot more uh, in the first albums. Now he just kind of sticks to like the chorus. He might rap here and there, but not, not as much as before. So I'm gonna skip forward to the drop. <laughs> is like my favorite beginning of all songs and you can kind of hear the reggae style so even though they're gonna start rapping and uh it, it really you can hear that that kind of like that island vibe every single one of their pictures from the album is shot at uh in okinawa one of the one of the i don't know if it's a castle i don't know what, what you call it but um they're known for having basically the same album with a different color and the same background and it's just a different whatever year they did release that album and so it has like a really nice islandy sound and being in hawaii i'm surprised these guys aren't more popular i actually went to see them in concert here in hawaii twice already which would be impossible for me to do that in japan like just to try to get tickets uh for their concerts in japan would have been just a, a monumental task they just sell out like that uh, but because they're not as well known here in uh, hawaii even though they have a large japanese community the tickets were like ten dollars and i got to see them right right in front all right so i'm gonna skip forward to the chorus which is my favorite <laughs> It's just really nice delivery, man. I love that. I love that. I haven't really introduced you guys to Daiso yet, so let me skip forward and try to find his bars. I 
I hate to stop it right in the middle of it, but I don't want to get hit with the copyright. And I just want you guys to kind of uh, get a little taste of it. And so they, it almost makes you want to go and find these songs. And so I'll put a bunch of links on the bottom. I don't know why I deleted it, but I used to have a playlist with all the songs you can find on YouTube from them. So that was Daiso. And by far, he's my favorite out of the rappers. I just really like his voice. I really like his delivery. I'm going to jump to the album number three. Three, and this is actually the album that I got introduced to by my friend. So she let me borrow this album, and I heard it. And this song, "Not to Know More Than Memories," uh, "Summer Memories," was the song that just did it for me. Okay, so uh, this is also when I got introduced to obviously everybody, but specifically Daiso's delivery and voice. And so let me let me play it up. It's gonna start off with a really nice beginning, just drops, and then the melody just just kills it. So that's really nice. Sorry, I had to stop it right there, but I want you guys to have just a little taste. Okay, so that was the beginning. Let me get to the chorus where Daiso just kills it. Ooh, man, I don't know. I know I'm, I'm geeking out, but I listen to a lot of music, a lot of artists. Uh, I love music, but I can't think of anybody who's consistently giving me the type of music that kind of that I, that I love that I like that just kind of just kind of suits me I don't know sounds weird but you know what I'm talking about as of this recording I know they have 10 albums uh, there might be another one that came out I just haven't been paying attention re recently but I want this video to be more of an introduction so I'll give you guys one more song and then uh, depending on how, how you guys respond to this video uh, I might break down each of the albums or even I, I'll do a part two where I just finish off the rest of the albums. Now this next song is from the fourth album and I actually try to memorize this song. I can kind of rap the first two bars and then the third one just got too difficult for me. Uh, but every time I go to karaoke, I, I got to play this one. It's really nice. It's called Sobani Te, which is like come close to me or something like that. So I'm going to play this song for you guys. But kind of, I want you to pay attention to how uh, how different it starts from the, all the songs that I kind of showed you. Even with the slow one, it kind of kicks into a reggae type of sound. This one right here starts really uh, soft and it's almost like a ballad. I don't even know how they got three rappers in a song that sounds like a ballad, but it's really nice. So let, let, me, let me show you guys this one. Okay, so that was the beginning, and it does have a nice little drop uh, after a couple of bars. So let me show you guys that one. Again, it has like a nice little reggae type of sound, but it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit more upgraded to like more of a pop style. Um, anyways, I really like that. Uh, and then let, let me get you guys to the verse, and then we'll probably end it after that. So I don't know. I, I really like that. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like that? Do you like their style, even though you're not, you don't understand what they're saying? It's really interesting how music can kind of transcend cultures. Uh, I mean, these guys, uh, there's no culture like Japanese culture. It's so different. Uh, there's so many things I love about it, uh, but it's so different from where I come from, Mexico, or where I'm living now in the U.S. And it's just the fact that I can enjoy music like, like this is, is really interesting to me. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to do kind of like an introduction. But I do want to leave you guys with a couple of my favorite songs from this album. Uh, I'm not going to do a commentary on it. Just play a couple of secs of it, and then hopefully it intrigues you enough to go searching for them. Uh, you can see the name right here. I know it's kind of hard because it's in Japanese, but I'll try to put everything on the comments so that you can uh, easily find them uh, if you're interested or just let me know right in the comment section below uh, if, you, if you want me to do more of these videos uh, I have, there's other artists from Japan that are really nice really interesting and really kind of universal please subscribe uh, like this video and also hit that notification bell thank you for watching and enjoy these last couple of songs